Clyde Property in Perth, award winning letting and estate agents, proud sponsors of Saints TV. Yeah, good. We've had uh, a couple of days off and uh, we're back in training as well. And So, yeah, we're looking forward to Sunday. It's uh, it's great to go into the last game with, with something to play for. Sometimes I've been a part of uh, teams that you've had the last for a few games, you've had nothing to play for, but, so it's great to go up to Aberdeen and with a chance to uh, hopefully get into Europe if I'm ever next win the Cup. I don't know, a bit nervous. Uh, just looking forward to it, to be honest. Uh, yeah, it's obviously we're in the driving seat and that sort of... Uh, in that term but I think uh, we've just got to concentrate on our own game and, and go up there and, and try and take the three points I mean uh, as, as long as we look after ourselves uh, obviously we, we finish fourth and then we look to the cup final but uh, we've just got to look after our own house and, and hopefully do the business Listen, I think we probably will have to keep an eye on it because if, if obviously we are drawn and, and United are winning we might need to throw cross into the wind late on uh, but I think to start with I think we'll just be looking to go into the game like any other game and and win the game. Uh, obviously, if it's going well for us, then we don't really need to look at uh, their result. But if it's if it's a draw or, or we're, we're maybe losing by the odd goal, then we maybe need to to uh, look at throwing caution to win. But I'm sure the manager and uh, Callum and Echo have, have spoke about that, and uh, I'm sure someday will be uh, uh, giving them the results and elsewhere. And uh, but hopefully we'll, we'll not need that. Hopefully we can just go up there and get the three points. But listen, they're a quality team. They've got a big squad. Uh, and they, they rotated their squad last week, and whether they do that this week as well, I think they probably will. But uh, they've got they've got good quality that comes in, and but we know that if we go up there and, and we perform at the level that we can do, like we did and that what we have done in the last few weeks, then we know we can go up there and get the three points. They probably push Celtic further than what everybody thought, so that's a uh, credit to to Derek and Tony. Uh, they've done a, a great job up there, and uh, they've, they've got quality players. So uh, I think. Probably most people expected them to finish second and, and they've done it, so uh, fair play to them and, and we congratulate them on that. Our usual game plan, we'll be going out to, to win the game, but uh, we'll just be, we'll be playing our usual way and uh, I'm sure uh, the gaffer, I've not actually spoke about it, uh, certain things, but I'm sure he'll have a couple of things for, for certain individuals and uh, listen, if, if we win the game, whether we win the game 1-0, 2-1 or whatever, then we've got fourth place, we'll be happy, however, however we do it, whether it's the last minute, whether it's the first minute, uh, whatever it takes, we'll be going up there to get win the game. Uh, Aberdeen fans will probably turn out in their, their droves, I think they've made it a 5 and a tenner, which is good, it's good for the St Johnson fans as well, so hopefully there's a big crowd, but listen, if you're a football player, you prefer playing in, in the big games and you want to play in front of a uh, big crowd, so yeah, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll make it, hopefully make it a good occasion and hopefully we'll keep keep them quiet. When you when you go out uh, before the game and you see uh, a big St Johnston uh, fan base, it, uh, it can only uh, make you make you want to do well. And uh, hopefully they'll give us a big backing again, and they'll be nice and loud. And hopefully we'll give them something to shout about. But I mean, uh, to to finish to get Europe again or to get to even get fourth, then it's a it's a massive achievement for us. So uh, if you look at last season, we won the Scottish Cup, which was a massive thing, and we finished sixth in the league. So we've improved our league position this year. Uh, albeit we've not we've not done as well in the cup, uh, but if we can finish fourth, uh, it'll be a great achievement. I think we started well, and then in Europe, and then we started the league season well, and then we went a little blip, and then uh, and then we picked up again. And then to be honest, that the the form uh, towards the end of the season has been really good. So uh, hopefully we can finish it off on Saturday, or Sunday even. Uh, the boys that have re-signed are good and uh, I think there's a lot of people negotiating deals or whatever and then we've signed uh, Brad McKay and uh, Joe Shaughnessy uh, Joe Shaughnessy I played with when I was at Aberdeen he was a, a good young kid so uh, I thought a lot of him then when I was up at Aberdeen so hopefully he's improved a bit and hopefully he comes in and does well for us Just finally just a word for the St Johnson fans that are giving you support for this season yeah, listen, just a big thank you for them who turn up in their numbers uh, every week and hopefully uh, we can finish fourth on, on, on Sunday for you and get yourself up to Aberdeen and, and make some noise and uh, we'll give you something to shout about.